Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from KiwiKing77.com here to do a video showing you the easiest method to root your Samsung Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge. This is using CF Auto Root made by Chainfire, so huge shout out to him. This will trip Knox, so it may void your warranty with Samsung, so keep that in mind. I will do an updated video in the future if there is a method that comes out where it does not trip Knox, so stay tuned for that, keep an eye out for that. Anyways, let's get going. It's a very simple method. So first I want you to go into settings and go to about device and check your model number real quick. So you'll see SM-G920T. That's just going to determine which file you download for your S6. So just kind of keep that in mind. You can write it down, something like that. Just remember it. And once you've done that, you're going to need to download a few things on your computer, actually. So in the description, there's a link to the drivers. Install those on your PC if you have not. All right, once you've transferred those files over, I want you to double-click on the S6 root folder right here. It's going to open up uh, that specific folder, and inside you'll see those files we transferred, which is great. Um, and now what I want you to do is you'll see you have Odin right here at exe, and you have a tar file, which are the two main things that you need. You will need to use Odin 3 version 3.10.6. I'll post a download link on my website if it doesn't include this specific version. So go ahead and right click on Odin and hit run as administrator. Once user account control pops up, just go ahead and hit yes, and it's going to open up Odin. All right, once Odin is up, you'll see you can only click on AP. Um, so what I want you to do is press the AP button right here. It's going to bring up hopefully that S6 root folder that we put on our desktop. If it didn't, just navigate to it, and inside you'll find this tar file. Um, yours might say just.tar, yours might say tar.md5. It doesn't matter if it says either as long as you downloaded it correctly. So double click on it and it's gonna throw that tar file into Odin. Now that we have Odin ready, I want us to go ahead and get our phones ready. So first of all, no data is gonna be wiped. You don't have to worry. So just power off your Galaxy S6 or Galaxy S6 Edge. And once it's fully off, we need to go into download mode. To, so to do so, you press volume down, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. Just press and hold all three, and it's gonna take us to this warning screen. So you'll see volume up to continue. That's what I want you to press. So volume up to continue. Now we're in download mode. So like I said, um, it's going to trip Knox, and it's going to show you this right here, so you'll see Knox Warranty Void. That's going to change to 1, so just heads up there before you do run through this. So now grab your micro USB cable that is plugged into your PC, and go ahead and plug it on in. Now once it's plugged in, you should see an Odin, a com box that shows up. A blue box says com, and then a random number. Could say any number right here, but anyways, um, if it doesn't show that up, try rebooting your phone, try rebooting your PC, try a different USB cable, try a different USB port on your PC as well. All right, so everything's set up. We got Odin set up. We got the tar file in the AP slot, and Odin is, recognizes our device. I'm going to hit start. So now I'm going to hit start, and what that's going to do is it should reboot my phone. It's not going to take very long. It's going to reboot my phone into a custom recovery. So you'll see Galaxy S6, and then it should show you, I, I believe, a blue Android guy. Here it is. So here's a blue Android guy. It's essentially rooting our device automatically by doing this. You're, you don't have to type in any commands, anything like that. All right, so it's going to reboot itself again, and then once it boots up, we should be fully rooted, and that really is about it. Um, you'll see it says reset and Odin still, that's okay. I'm going to let it boot up and I'll be back once it's done booting up. Alright, so my phone has finally booted back up. You do not need it plugged in anymore. Odin is completely done. So in your app drawer, you should actually see an app called Super SU now, U now. So that got thrown there, which is a good sign. But also we want to double check. That doesn't necessarily mean we're rooted. We want to double check. I downloaded an app called Root Checker Basic from the Play Store. You can get it if you want. Um, and all we have to do is just go ahead and hit verify root right here and it's going to ask for super user permissions um, and you don't have to grant them but this screen shows you we're now rooted so great you can hit grant and it's going to say hey good job you have root access there you go congratulations root access and that's it so that's uh, all the steps you need to fully root your Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge. If you have any problems, leave a comment. Let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. Please subscribe if this video helped you out. I'd appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. All links in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.